Hello and welcome to this new tutorial in the list dedicated to the programming of the ESP32 board in an easy way. In this video, we will see together how to use the ESP32 camera and how to run it as a server. After that, we will be able to see the streaming in the same network with a browser. This is the model that I will be using. It costs less than $10. You will also need the FTDI module to upload the program inside the ESP32. This is the wiring part. Be aware about this information. When you upload the program, the zero pin should be connected to the ground. Once you finish the upload, you need to unconnect them. I will remind you later. Now let's go to the site easycoding.tn and go to the resources category. You will need to download some files for the sketch. This is my file inside a folder. Now let's come back to the site easycoding.tn and open QNOT for ESP32. Here I will run the template of client in an open network or uh, encrypted network, it depends on you. Uh, to run the camera, we will need these two blocks. Put them after being connected to the Wi-Fi network. You can add another instructions inside the main loop if you need. Now you will need to save your file inside a folder and add the files that we downloaded all together in the same folder. Now you need to select the uh, right ESP32 board with the AI Thinker camera. Now, as you can see, we did not get any, uh, get any uh, compile error, so I will upload the program. In case the board is blocked in the upload part, try to press the reset button. Now the program is uploaded and nothing is displayed on the serial monitor. 
we will do a last step with the wiring I will remove the wire between the zero pin and the GND and I will press the reset button again Now my program is running and I have a streaming address. I will open it in the browser. Don't forget to click on the stream button. And here we are. I hope that you liked the video and see you soon. Bye.